Welcome to Granny Peach's Kitchen with Chris and Bear. Today we're making homemade sausage gravy. So today's ingredients, this is a, a recipe that came from my mother's family. Um, you don't have to use Bob Evans sausage. Use whatever you have in your neighborhood. But I like Swaggerty actually because it doesn't have any fillers. But we're going to do Bob Evans because Bob, I want to show you that you don't have to go to Bob Evans kitchen restaurant in order to have the same taste at home. Um, we have two cups of water. We have two cups of milk. We have a, a little bit of oil just in case it doesn't make enough from the sausage. We have flour so we can make our roux and we have salt and pepper to taste. We're going to take our whole roll of sausage and we're going to turn the heat on so that we can um, make our roll of sausage. But what you're going to do is you're going to chunk these sausages up into little bitty, little bitty uh, pieces. And um, that's what you need that spatula for because the spatula is what we're using to make our roux and everything. And as the heat cooks it, you're just going to break the sausage up. And just keep breaking it up. Let your heat, your fire get hot. And you'll break it up even more. It'll be little bitty tiny balls when you get finished with it. We'll come back and let you see how it's going. Okay, as the, the heat progresses, you're going to just keep breaking it up smaller and smaller. You see it's starting to brown a little bit. You just keep on breaking it up. The little piece is getting smaller and smaller. And you just keep doing that until it's done. And you keep moving it around. You don't walk away from it. You just keep moving it. It only takes a couple minutes to cook this. Maybe five minutes to, uh, to cook the sausage all together. Because in actuality, you're making a piece so small that they cook really fast. Five, seven minutes max. But you want to cook it until it's done. You make sure it's good and brown before you're, you're done. And nothing is pink. You can't have any pink pork at all, whatever you do. Okay, guys. The sausage is almost ready. It's just about done. It's starting to really turn brown. You don't want it too, you don't want it crispy brown. You just want it brown and done. Um, you're going to remove the sausage out of the pan and leave the grease in the pan. We need the grease in the pan so that we can make the roux. So um, we'll be right back. And I'm You're gonna take all of the sausage off and drain, leave the grease in there as much of it as you can. Drain it as much as you can. You see, if you see when I lift it up, it's leaving the grease in there. That's what you wanna do. You wanna leave the grease in there so that you can use it for the roux. Be we're back with the ingredients. Here's the frying pan with what's left of the grease. And we're going to add a little more grease oil to it. And we have the two uh, two cups of um, milk and two cups of water that we're going to use. And I'm just going to mix them together. And then we're going to use the flour for our roux. We're going to use this little bit of oil to pour in here with the other oil to make sure it's enough for our roux. And we're going to taste salt and pepper to taste. Be right back. Okay, when you put this oil back on the stove, you, you're not putting it on too high because you want the roux to cook. So we're gonna, I'm going to get the grease hot before I pour the flour in. Um, you pour the flour in to thicken, and you're going to use the spatula to uh, move it around. That's what the spatula is for. And we'll add the uh, sausage in once we get the gravy to the desired thickness as we go I'm gonna turn this, this grease down it's oil down and the um, grease from off of the sausage I'm gonna turn that down in a minute once I get it where I want it we don't want it popping but we want it a little bit. Just put a little bit of flour in at a time. That's about a fourth of a cup. 
and we want to work this root until we get it till we get it the color that we wanted we don't want to we don't want to uh, have it too white so it's not chicken gravy this is sausage gravy so we're going to keep working and we're going to turn the fire down so we can work it without it burning and you have to stay on it you cannot walk away from the room And when you get ready to, um, once the, the milk and water goes in, what you're going to do is you're going to use the bottom of the um, spatula to keep making sure that it's not sticking on the bottom so it doesn't burn or scorch. We don't want any burnt sausage gravy. We just want it just right. This is a slow process here, so it's going to take a minute. We'll be right back to let you know what color we want it. Okay guys, I've added in a little bit more flour. You just do a little bit at a time and you work it until it works in really good. And you want your roux to be a, a, a golden brown, not dark brown, just, you know, golden. So you just keep on till this flour gets a nice color and tone to it. Um, a light golden color. I'll be back when we get to that color. This is the this is the color that I want. And I'm gonna start adding in the uh, the milk and um, water mixture. One second, and you're gonna do a little bit of that at a time. Oops, go it down on my stove, and you just keep you take your bottom of your spatula and keep moving it around and keep moving it around until it smooths out you get all of those lumps out you don't want any lumps that's why you only put a little bit in at a time you make sure you got all of that down turn your stove down if you need to i've been doing this so long i don't know it, it doesn't matter to me but you don't want any lumps so you just keep on moving keep on moving add some more milk and, uh -oh. add some more mixture I'm trying to hold this camera because the kids are in school now. It took too long. I'm a little slower than I used to be. But basically, you just keep stirring and you make sure all of the lumps are out. And you keep going. You make sure you go around the whole frying pan to get all of those. Make sure there's no lumps. And then you'll feel how it's thickening on the bottom. You just keep moving it, keep moving it, keep moving it until it's smooth. Keep moving it, keep moving it, keep moving it. Move your stuff around so you can see it. And if it's thick, add you some more. Definitely add you some more mixture in. And keep adding until you have what you want. That was about maybe a half of a cup all together a flour that I put in there um, as you make this you'll see that it's up to you how much more you want in there um, and that was about um, two tablespoons of oil that I added to it to make sure that it was enough to make um, all of the roux or gravy at this point because it's gravy now that I wanted um, the desired consistency and you just keep on stirring with the bottom of the spatula. Just give you a hint, hint. Um, these plastic spoons and stuff, they aren't the best. I mean, I like wooden better, but, you know, for what we're doing, these are okay. Um, or some that's made to, that you can use them at a higher temperature. But, um... For the most part, the Dollar Tree, I'll give you guys some hints up. They sell them too. Just don't, whatever you do, don't use any steel or metals in your non-stick pans or you will ruin them. You want them to last a long time? Make sure that you use plastic or wood in your pans. Please don't use um, anything 
steel or metal in your pans and don't use steel wool or any of that um to clean soak them if you have to you know if if you don't get them clean right away which i prefer washing as you go so guys wash as you go so you won't have that issue we're gonna keep on working this takes a while grab me a seat so um You see how it's getting a little thicker? It's going to get even thicker once you put the uh, other stuff in. But you want to keep going with this because this will keep getting thicker and thicker as, you know, the flour is, is the thickener anyway. So if it's not as thick as you want it before it's over, before you add the meat in, definitely, definitely, definitely add more flour. That's why I had extra flour just in case. And you can take that flour that's stuck off on the side. You see how I took it off with the uh, spatula and just flipped it down back down in there. You can keep doing that and keep doing that. I turned the heat down really low, so it's cooking a lot slower than I'm used to, only because it's kind of hard to do this and watch what I'm doing and uh, never taped anything. Um, I just cook. Uh, well with help now but anyway um so pretty much you know you just keep adding your your uh liquid your milk and uh water substance in until you get all of it in because you're gonna need it all to make enough gravy to go with those biscuits that you made I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I didn't get these. This gravy is dark as I usually do. However, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just all in the color. So, no big deal. Um, you mix in your... Take your sausage. Bring it back out. And you start mixing that in. So, now you got your sausage and your gravy. I got it as thick as I like it, and I'm going to put the stuff. Okay, well, there's nobody in there with you, so go to another room, Blair. And I'm going to put as much salt and pepper as I like. Don't use seasoning salt in this. It will change up the whole ordeal. You don't want seasoning salt in this one. You just want um, regular salt. Regular salt. Table salt is fine. Just sprinkle it to taste and then you can always put more in it later don't over put it in there before because it'll overpower we've got our biscuits over here on the side you stir it in really really good and there you have it guys sausage gravy you see the consistency of it it's not watery it's really thick you got enough sausage in there. You got enough gravy in there. The gravy is thick enough. We're going to cover this for a second, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is the biscuits and sausage gravy. This is my food. I want you to see how the inside of this biscuit looks. Look how, how good it, oh, my God. Oh, my God, it was so good. The kids was eating them without anything on them. Okay, guys, we, we need to do this so you can scoot on in there. We need to do this so you can go ahead and tell me how those biscuits taste. These guys have sausage and they have jelly on their biscuits. Mm. Mm. They already snuck some biscuits so they know what, it, what <laughs> they taste like. They ate them plain and was all excited. So... Mm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull off another can of biscuits after giving them these. These are an old family recipe. Um, maple sausage. 